missed it, walked past it or something. Hello! <clears throat> Hello, everyone. Uh, hi. Welcome. Thank you for being here. How are you all? I hope everyone is having a wonderful night. I meant to turn up the, the PS2, but I started talking about ice cream with Nate on Discord and, uh, <laughs> forgot to get that turned up. Let's get that turned back up to where it should be. There we go. That's a little bit better. Let's hit the button as well, because I don't know if uh, that that song is like copywritten or anything. I don't I just I have no idea uh, voiced either. But huh? I've been very like congested lately. I don't know what's up with that. But yeah, it's been a bit rough. <laughs> ice cream. Yes, dude. Uh, Noodle and I made a ice cream base. That's why that's why I was late tonight because we were working on a ice cream base. Just a simple, uh, just a simple chocolate one, and then we we're also trying a very simple sorbet recipe. And when I say very simple sorbet recipe, it's a frozen can of pineapple. <laughs> so, like, very simple sorbet recipe. Um, but then you got to run it through the machine to turn it into ice cream, obviously. So, like, we we haven't actually made the ice cream yet, just the base for for the ice cream and for the sorbet. And uh, hopefully it'll end up being good. I've heard pretty decent things about it, but uh, I mean, I haven't gotten to try it yet. So you didn't know there was an American Chopper game? Me neither until I think it was Noodle bought this one for me. Um, that's the first I heard of it. Also, why do you have a keyboard-like layout, right? And then you don't have things in QWERTY. You have things in alphabetical order. Why? What the hell is wrong with you? Also, why does the cursor move so slow? That is all the faster you can move the cursor, man. And sometimes it'll eat your input and not move because it does the stupid sound and animation. <sighs> Sorry. Okay. I'm already having a lot of fun with this one. This is a <laughs> this is a good one, man. This is... Mm. All right. We got a prologue. I guess we're watching a prologue. Those models look fantastic. Noodle did get it? I thought so. Oh god, you didn't get me sick, did you? Uh, I mean, I don't think so. Unless it was a computer virus. Oh, got it. Because, you know, you, I, we talk on the computer. Um, anyways, so <laughs> I guess we'll select a old school chopper. I don't even know what's the point of this game, man. Are we racing? Are we building bikes? I, I, what are we doing? A chopper reminiscent of Paul Sr.'s early years includes old school parts such as Suicide Clutch and Kickstart. Okay, I guess we're using that because that's the only one available. <laughs> Virtual sickness has happened before. Has it though? Is that like a uh, where if you believe hard enough it'll happen kind of deal? Like, <laughs> is, that, is that what that is? Paulie's hired a new hand at American Chopper. Today, Paul Sr. decides if he's got what it takes to stay on the job. Oh, God. There's a, a <laughs> there's a voice in my head. Are critical, Paul what? He and the new guy decide <laughs> to take an early morning ride in the country. I feel like my life is being narrated right now, man. Like, this is this actually feels really weird. I don't I don't like it. So, I'm, I'm guessing it's trying to be a episode of the show. Like, they didn't just do their own thing with it? I mean, like, why else would they have a fucking an announcer dude, you know? These controls are for the default control configuration only. Also, I hate when games do that. Like, you can't check and see what control scheme is being used and then show the tutorial for that control scheme. Like, come on, man. Don't be fucking lazy. It's where you're so close or good friends with someone that when they learn you're sick sooner or later, you get sick. I've never heard of it. Like, I've never heard of that being called, like, virtual sickness before. But maybe. Maybe that's my problem. <laughs> maybe maybe it is your fault after all. <laughs> uh, to activate rear view. I, I didn't read those controls at all, so I'm sure I'm sure this is fine. Also, something about waypoints. I'm, I'm sure it's fine. Look, we, we steer with the left stick. We press X to, to go forward. Um, oh, were we supposed to, like, stop there? I think maybe we were supposed to stop there. Oh, there's style points. 
Can we get into a wreck? <laughs> Follow Paul Jr. to the t t testicles garage. <laughs> Do not lose him. A distance meter is in the upper right-hand corner of the screen. When you are at the risk of losing Paul Jr., you will hear a beeping sound. Okay. Okay, that's break. So is that. Those, those are both break. Yeah, okay. Look, I, I know you're warning me that I could lose him, but maybe he should just slow the fuck down a little bit, man. Because, like, I'm, I'm still learning the controls, guys. Also, I'm pretty sure we're speeding. Based off of the, the other the other cars here, I don't think uh, we're supposed to be... Oh, okay. <laughs> that was the touchiest fucking controls ever, dude. The fuck was that? Your career ended before it even began. Okay, well... Let's, uh, let's try that again. You're having Sherbert. Uh, it's actually Sherbet. S-H-E-R-B-E-T. There's no second R in Sherbet. Uh, Sherbert is a mispronunciation that is now more common than the real pronunciation in America. Um, but yeah, no, for real it is. It's Sherbet. And uh, there's no second R in there. I'm not a huge Sherbet person, personally, honestly. I'm more of a, definitely more of an ice cream person. Also, wait a second. Am I, like, ahead of him now? I am, ain't I? So I guess I need to slow down and let him catch up a little bit. I mean, that's fucking lame, dude. Why can't you hurry the hell up? Okay. <laughs> Follow bonus 10. I mean, I'm not really following, though. He's kind of following me, you know? So is this, like, the whole game? Also, dude... I don't think you should be going beside the truck like that. This is this is a very thrilling video game, guys. Also, for all the realism they're trying to put in here, and then they have those giant blinking arrows, like... <laughs> Why is it so fucking touchy, dude? Oh, fuck me, dude. That was scary. Why are we driving in the middle of the highway again? I don't I don't think you're supposed to do that. Well, you asked if I had anything that, like, had to be washed, right? I thought that's what you were talking about. Because normally, whenever you ask me that, you mean, like, you have two loads of clothes, but you only feel like doing one right now. So is there anything that has to be done right now? So I thought that's what you were asking. My bad, dude. You also got that fancy artesian bread you were talking about forever ago, and you never noticed that it's how we always say it so that's how you spelled it yeah that's fair <laughs> like i said it's actually more common as far as uh, as far as i'm aware it's more common for people to pronounce it sherbert with the second r um but yeah it's not actually sherbert sherbet i think i learned that on a youtube video i believe i don't really remember for sure is this is this all we're gonna do the entire time oh wait are we stopping here wait Oh. oh no, we lost points. <laughs> that dude just got fucking yeeted off his bike. <laughs> oh my god, dude. This game is uh, a game that exists. That, that much is for sure. Watch your tachometer to the right for the right moment between 4 and 5. If you change gears too early or too late, you will slow down significantly. You crash your bike, you will automatically lose the drag race. I mean, that's fair. Never even looked at the spelling, to be honest. Like I said, if it weren't for... Wait, how do we how do we shift? Okay, it says it's always done in manual mode, but how do I... Uh, L1. Okay. Can I restart mission? Yes. R1 and R2. Got it. So, or L1 and L2. It's a bit of a weird, uh, a weird one, I feel like, but whatever. It'll work. Redo, except uh, it looks like it's also going to make us redo this whole driving section, which is like, for real, dude. Can I shift here? No, it's automatic here. Okay. That's fine. If the controls weren't, like, it's so bad, man. 
Like, I can't even honestly explain it. Like, right now, it's not being touchy at all. Right now, it hardly wants to turn. But then, like, if you if you actually hit, like, over, so you just, like, fucking zoom. <laughs> like, you just go for it, man. Near fucking miss. Hell yeah, it is. Oh, God. Did I just lose, like, 20 miles per hour in an instant? Hi there. I don't know how we're not dead. Should we be trying to get style points? Like, because I'm in front of him, it seems like uh, I can't really get the style points. Because I get the style points for following him. But, oh wait, okay, we got a clean driving bonus. That's all we need, man. Oh god, fuck. <laughs> I, oh shit, we're getting too far away. Oh god. Okay, it's fine. We're fine. We're within 100 yards, apparently. That's all that matters. Why is he driving so fucking slow, dude? Hurry the hell up. You're like an AI automated driver person. Shouldn't you be... Shouldn't you have this down already? Probably done this like a thousand times. Aren't we going to like your garage anyways? Also, I still just love how that fucking... Truck on the, the last go... Ran straight into him, dude. Knocked him straight off his fucking bike. Just yeeted him like he was nothing. Nothing, I say. We're gonna have to... We're slowing down. We're waiting for him to catch up. There he is. Did he just flip me off? <laughs> I feel like he just flipped us off, dude. Why... Why does he do that? Like, why does he randomly just drive in the middle of the... The divider for the highway? you get extra style points for that or something? I don't... Okay, I always prefer to manual. Shift between 4 and 5. Okay. I, I, I pressed it. It didn't shift for some reason. There it goes. It did that time. Okay, I mean, I'm just watching. I'm, only, I'm not even watching the road. I, I think I'm winning. I don't really know. This game is super exciting, guys. I don't know if you can tell, but oh my lord. I'm having so much fun. Oh, dude, I won by like two and a half seconds. That dude sucks. <laughs> we won our first drag race, guys. We the best drag racers in the world. This video is so compressed. Look at the artifacting on that. That's not that's not like Twitch artifacting. That's legitimately how the game looks. I just dropped my fucking controller on the ground. <laughs> Gosh, Dad, I'm coming, okay? Seriously, yes, seriously. Time to hurry. Beat Paul Jr. in a race to the garage. Okay. Let's go, guys. It's time for a race. I don't know if we can do it or not. It's gonna be so hard. Can we, like, turn on subtitles maybe for you guys? No? Doesn't look like it? No no options here or anything? Okay. That's fine, too, I guess. Oh, God. Please turn. Not that much. Oh, God. Just go straight. <laughs> I don't like it. I don't like the way it controls. It's so bad. What was that? It doesn't look like it. At least, like, there's no options right now. So maybe in between levels or something we'll be able to. That's the only thing I can think of. But, uh... Oh, fuck, dude. No, what are you doing? Just turn. Why do you, like, barely turn, barely turn, boom? Bike it? What do you mean, bike it? He fucking hit me, dude. I didn't touch him. Oh my god. This game is so good. Ah, <laughs> uh, I fucking love it, dude. 10 out of 10. Best game. Game of the year right here, man. I know it came out like 20 years ago, but oh fuck. It's so good, I can't, I can't take it. It's so fluffy, I'm gonna die. Noodle and I tried to watch Despicable Me 3 last night. Um, I had thought that... Oh. Oh. I thought that uh, we had watched Despicable Me 2, or at least that I had, and Noodle thought that she had. But at this point, I'm actually not sure. 
Because I don't remember, like, Gru getting a wife or... What the fuck was that truck doing? Did you see that shit? <laughs> the truck went crazy, dude. Uh, anyway, also, you just went through them bushes. You should be, like, dead right now or something. But anyways, uh, like, I don't remember... I don't remember him getting a wife, becoming a spy. I don't remember any of this shit. So, like, or agent, whatever the hell they call it. Stay on the fucking road, you piece of shit. Oh, fuck. <laughs> what the fuck was that sound effect? Oh, my God. Uh, anyways. So, uh, yeah, Despicable Me 3 looks pretty good. Oh, God, I'm gonna fucking die. <laughs> But uh, I'm not sure I've actually seen two. Fuck. This game is seriously jank. Yes. Yes, it is. It is very much jank, dude. This is, <laughs> this is so bad. Like, again, again, I have to ask with so many PS2 games at this point, did they even fucking play test this? Also, that dude literally just phased through that truck, dude. They, like, threw two different trucks. He just phased right through them. That's, like, the definition of fucking cheating, dude. I hit something, I get a huge penalty because I wipe out. They hit a truck and they just, they just phase through it, teleport to the, to the side of it. Like, it's nothing. Like, what the fuck, man? That's literally cheating. <laughs> it's so bad. You remember seeing part of it at the drive-in? But you were with your mom... And she was drunk and fighting with your dad, so she was talking to her friend. Oh, so you know what? Maybe I never did actually see two. Because, uh, yeah, if it was you, your sister, and your mom that went, I may have not have seen it. I had assumed that we saw it, like, you know, at home or something like that. Huh. Well, shit, dude. <laughs> I mean, we can still finish up three and then we'll watch two some other time, but... Oh, fuck. Well, we still won, somehow, after all that fuckery. This is what we like to call a money grab? Yes, definitely. I, it's just like, I don't know, as a developer, I guess like if you're a failing game studio or something and you have no, no choice, but, uh, you know, make this game for this, this, this company that asks you to or go fucking bankrupt and don't pay your employees, then I guess you kind of have to. But, like, I would feel so shitty, man, if I had a game development studio and I put out this, you know? <laughs> or just any terrible game. Like, sure, some games may not be your style or whatever, but, like, a game that just doesn't function half the time. <laughs> like, like, and I don't even mean, like, bugs, right? Because, like, Bethesda games are usually buggy as hell. But the core mechanics still work, usually. The turning in this doesn't fucking work, man. You like, just like instantly fucking, you're going straight, going straight, going straight. You tried to turn a little bit and whoop, now you're in the fucking grass. Like, stupid, man. Nobody played this game. And if they did, they should feel bad for not saying something. <laughs> like, <laughs> oh, God. Imagine the show was hugely popular at the time. They just want to capitalize on it. Yeah. I remember like one of my friends was really into this sort of, this sort of, TV shows and shit like that, and uh, he watched it a lot. I watched a little bit of it. It wasn't terrible. Now, of course, we got the memes from it, so... Anything that uh, provides the spicy memes is good in my book. <laughs> Bugs are a core mechanic of Bethesda games. You're right, you're right. Can't even argue with you there, man. You were using your toe to slowly turn the radio up every time she turned it down. She was like, God, this movie is loud. Don't talk on the fucking phone while people are trying to watch a movie. How about that? Problem solved. Pay attention to the movie and shut the hell up. <laughs> it's one thing, like, if you're talking a little bit about the movie or uh, or asking a question about the movie or whatever. You know, I know some people, like, get excited and like to talk about a movie and things like that. But don't be talking on the phone to someone that, about something completely irrelevant to whatever's going on on the screen. That's just... Mm, 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 mm. And she threw a hissy fit inside on the back bumper of the car. I don't care. Do it. Whatever. <laughs> If you're going to act like that, go ahead. Go sit on the back bumper. People. People, man. Nate has a huge point there. Sometimes they're bad and sometimes they're so funny they're even better with the game. <laughs> uh. They make the game better, for sure. Tomorrow, the real work begins oh, God. The announcer again. Chopper. It's my... Am I... Am I Goku? Are we in... Are we in Dragon Ball Z now? 
I have I have a a, a a narrator telling me everything that I do. Why can we just skip shit? If it's meant to, to be like a episode of the or yeah, an episode of the show or something like that, you would think it would be more linear. But it's letting us pick what we want to do. Find Hex and bring him back to the shop. Race Mayhem to the stadium and back. Deliver a bike while avoiding but hold on. Hold on a second. Are you telling me a show about building bikes, right? Cool custom bikes for people and the drama that ensues in doing so. That's what that's what the show's about. If you haven't seen it, that's what it is. It's, it's these dude, a dad and his son and and the people at a shop building some, some custom bikes for people and delivering them to people and fixing them for people and stuff like that, right? Okay, let's say that's 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 the show. That's what the show's about. We don't even get to fucking do that in the game? <laughs> we just... Are we just fucking racing with some shitty-ass mechanics the whole time? No, dude. No. <laughs> There's no fucking way. Tell me it's not so. Seriously, though. Like, is this... Are we actually day just one. driving the, the entire time? The team starts preparing for Daytona. But the new hire is creating a little tension between Paulie and Paul Sr. The question is, will he survive the day? Will he survive the day? Are they going to murder me? I'm confused. The new guy's <laughs> first full day at American Chopper, and Paul Sr. is determined to make sure it's a busy one. Uh, that note doesn't say anything. Follow Paul Sr.'s instructions. Uh, actually, I'm sorry, but like, there's no instructions there. <laughs> that was just scribbles on the wall, dude. Go to the location and get some parts. So do we actually get to, like, pick the parts at least? Or... Hey, Mr. Noodle, thank you so much for the five bits, love. I appreciate it. I'm gonna I'm gonna need those bits after dealing with this bullshit. <laughs> uh, okay, so... I'm just... I'm seeing if this bike handles any differently. Not really. It might be a little bit easier to turn. Maybe... Oh, God. Wait, is that gas? You found your first gas canister. Each canister picked up gives you more fuel, extending the time you can ride. Cool, man. I'm so happy that I got a gas canister. You got me a bad game? I think you did, love. <laughs> Not to be mean, but... uh, Yeah, I think so. This game seems like shit. <laughs> Where's uh. Hex? Hex. Ah, uh, he went for a late breakfast. He's either at Irma's Kitchen, the Sidetrack Cafe, or Eggheads. Okay, so we drove to one place three blocks away. The dude's not there. So now we drive to another place that's probably also going to be three blocks away. Oh, but wait, I didn't realize we only got two minutes to get there. Oh, fuck. It's going to be so hard to make it across town in two minutes if we don't. Paul Sr.'s gonna be really mad at me. We don't we don't want Paul Sr. to be mad at me. I'm running these red lights getting to the place where we gotta go. This game is <laughs> actual trash. I'm just hoping like once we find Hex or whatever, right? And we go to pick up the parts. Can we at least like pick the parts that we're buying or anything? Like do we get any degree of customability, customizability, customization? I don't know my words that well. Do we get to pick the shit, or do we just have to do the shit that they tell us to do? That's what I want to know. Because that's like, driving mechanics aside, it could still be like fun if you're at least making some, some, some fun stuff or whatever, right? Like making your own bikes or custom bikes for people to sell and shit. I don't know. Also, can, is there no backup? Can I? Okay. Right stick is back. Wait a second. Can we drive forward with the right stick too? Is the right stick also an accelerator? I don't know why you'd want to do that, but Hex in there? No. This Hex guy must be pretty fucking famous around here or something, man. No Hex here. Try the sidetrack cafe. Right stick is backwards. Yep. Okay, so right stick just doubles as another accelerator. So you can use it to go forward, backwards, whatever. Why is there a star? I feel like I should 
chase this star down, man. Like, we got two minutes. It ain't that far. Oh, is that the, the popo? It's the popo. Got it. Okay, so we probably want to stay away from the police. I'm assuming... I'm assuming us cool cats with our bikes and stuff aren't that into the to the police. Oh shit, we also we damage in our bike. That's a damage meter on the left. Probably don't want to break it. Hey, have you ever heard about using your fucking brake there, car? Maybe don't try and hit people and shit, dude. Slow the hell down. You're assuming GTA rules? Uh, something like that. I, I, I assume. I don't honestly fucking know, dude. Closed by order of the health department. I don't think Hex is here. Try the Egghead Cafe. Okay. How many restaurants are in this place? However many there are, I bet he'll be at the last one because they got to pat out these missions with some sort of bullshit, don't they? Hey, thank you for being able to use your break, man. I just I just appreciate you being a reasonable person. <laughs> we get bonus points for scaring pedestrians. Hell yeah. Can we go off-road? We can go off-roading. The bike seems to be pretty slow off-road, but we can do it. Oh, we can't go too far off-road, though. <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? Why even... Why? Why is this a game, guys? Why? Oh, my God. I can't. I give up, man. This is so bad. This game isn't all bad, then. It's all bad, man. It's all bad. There's, there's no redeeming it. <laughs> Scaring some pedestrians is not enough. Oh no, the police are right behind me. They're gonna get me in the 5 -0. Am I just a wanted criminal, or is it just because I'm speeding a little bit? Like, we get points for scaring people, though. But, like, that's not... <laughs> that doesn't mean something's a good game, you know? Oh, shit. Oh, shit, I thought this was a road. I think they're gonna get me. <laughs> shit, fuck. <laughs> oh, God. Damn <laughs> Oh, God. Wait, are they trying to fucking ram me? What are they doing? The police lost your trip. Wait, seriously? That's all I had to do to, to lose the police? Like, was make one quick turn? Uh... <laughs> oh, God. That's all you got to do, man. If the police are after you, you just got to turn into your house. Or anybody's house, really. Doesn't even have to be yours. You just you just stop and turn, and they can't. They can only drive straight. It's a law, actually. Like, in the Americas, people don't know this, but, like, police aren't allowed to turn. They can only go straight down the road. No, no other direction. They have to have a different police officer for every street, you see? And they just go up that street, and that's it. No other direction. And you're Tuttle's new guy. Jesus, Paulie fuck. just called here and said you were looking for me. Give me your list and a ride back to my place. Wait, Hex is riding bitch on the bike now? Give Hex a ride back to the workshop. The safety of your passenger is of the utmost concern. Do not crash. Do not. Our own safety? Don't fucking care. Don't crash. Don't hurt Hex, okay? Oh, is he signaling for us? Aw, oh, that was nice of him. Do you don't mind if I, like, run the red lights and shit, do you, Mr. Mr. Hexer? You seem like a bit of a rebel, aren't you? I'm sure you don't mind too much. It'll be all right. You don't care if we if we do a little of a little little bit of a, a maneuver here, right? Just take this this little left like this. Don't worry, we're gonna be fine. I mean, we might die. What'd you put your hand out? We ain't turning. Don't do don't do a turn signal unless we turn it. You're gonna confuse people. Then we're gonna wreck, and then you're gonna die, and I'm gonna get blamed for it. Oh fuck! <laughs> Jesus Christ! Stop! <laughs> the fucking st just go straight, you piece of shit! <laughs> oh my God! Is he waving at people? I honestly don't know what the hell's going on with the with the wave there. I thought, I thought he was doing a turn signal for us, but maybe not. But it's, it's that fucking car, what was he doing? That dude was speeding, speeding, man. We were going kind of fast, and he, he out, out drove us. And then he fucking ran the red light? That dude's crazy. Yes, he's waving. Oh, my fucking God, stream, you can't drive. Dude. Come feel how this feels. Like, come try and drive on this. It does not fucking work. I may I may not be a great driver in video games in general. This is true. But this game is garbage. Also, why does the brake, like, never stop you? Why do you just keep moving slowly forever? Also, that's, like, how you do a turn signal on a bike, right? You, like, stick your arm out if you're going left. And then you, you put it at a 90-degree angle on your elbow if you're turning right sort of thing. Hours.
Wait, if we just gave him a list and weren't actually picking out the parts yet, why didn't we just fucking call it in? He just said Polly called him a moment ago, so this dude's obviously got a phone. Why'd you waste my fucking time, dude? Am I a taxi driver? I thought we were getting some fucking parts. After completing a mission, you enter free ride mode. In this mode, you can explore the town, search for hidden bonuses, and so on, but your time is limited by your gas tank. Keep an eye on your fuel level. What if I don't want to, though? <laughs> What if I'm perfectly fine with running out of gas because this is fucking dumb? <laughs> it's alright guys, we got a thousand style points, so that's that's all we really need, right? I guess we'll try to figure out what this white dot is. Is that the garage? I'm thinking, oh nope, that's a cop. Just a cop that's really far away? Or does the star mean something else now? I don't know what the speed limit is. No, that's definitely the garage. Why the fuck did they reuse the star for the garage and for the shop? I don't like this game. <laughs> I... Ah, uh, fuck. We got a thousand something bonus points, man. I'm sure the points will be real useful for something, right? I want something good about this game like I want there to be something good about this game but so far besides the fact that you can like scare pedestrians <laughs> I don't, there's just nothing good there's nothing here man it's just shit <laughs> it's just shit all of it's shit the turning mechanics are shit the missions are shit the whole it's bad all of it uh, let's just go to the next one I guess man this is our life for the next hour, so this is what we got to do. <laughs> Race Mayhem to the stadium and back. Oh, we're using the jet bike, though. How do we unlock the other bikes? Rigid Custom? Wait, do we actually get to make a custom bike? Or is that just the name of a bike? I am, like, tired, and this game is not helping with me being fucking tired. <laughs> Hey, everybody, take one guess who published this game. Go ahead. Nate, Noodle, Noodle, you probably wouldn't have a guess. But Rue, anybody else? Go ahead. Take take a guess who published and or developed this game. American Chopper. Who's this? The new guy. This is Mayhem of Mayhem's Motorcycle Emporium. I got your engine, but I want EA, to get out of here. I so understand why now. you said that. Then they said it was Bethesda. No, we were talking about Bethesda being buggy. <laughs> It's not EA. In my opinion, it's the only company worse than EA, dude. Fucking Activision. <laughs> it's so... Uh... I don't think Activision published it. I don't think. I'm assuming... Oh, God. I'm assuming that they just published it and didn't actually develop it. But I'm honestly not sure. Same thing now, right? Yeah, well... <laughs> uh... They both suck, this is for sure. EA, Activision, both of them. Did you guys hear that uh, the rumor mill is heating up even more on Sony buying um, Square Enix? Apparently, like, there's more and more sources coming forward that are uh, more and more reliable, being like, yeah, Sony is actually going to buy Square Enix. I don't, like, obviously, I don't know if it's true yet. No one besides Sony and Square Enix. Uh, probably know if it's true yet, but uh, it's it's seeming more likely from what I've been hearing and what I've been told by people and whatnot. But uh, you thought EA owned Activision now? No, no, they don't. Nope, it's uh, Activision and Blizzard joined together. EA is still a separate company. It would make sense if uh, Sony bought Square. Yeah, I mean, if they're going to buy anyone, it seems like a pretty... The yeah, <laughs> I could see them buying Square if they were going to buy anyone. I honestly would prefer neither of them, Microsoft or Sony, bought any company. Because it's just bad for consumers at the end of the day. But like, I feel like Sony is most likely going to buy a company or two after all the bullshit that Microsoft pulled. Buying like 15 different publishers or... Uh, Publishers and game studios, you know, 
Like, uh, the biggest one obviously being Bethesda, but they bought a bot of... Uh, 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 or, I'm sorry. The biggest one that's gone through so far obviously being Bethesda, but they're also buying Activision Blizzard, or at least trying to. So, uh, yeah. But anyways, after all that Tom foolery, I, uh, I'd be surprised if Sony doesn't do something in retaliation. But it's bad for consumers on both sides, you know? Even though I like Sony's consoles and games more than I like... Um, what the fuck? Why is the checkpoint over here? Even though I like Sony's consoles and games more than I like Microsoft's, the fact of the matter is still that it's better for everyone if you can just buy the console of your choice and play the games that you like to play. Like, it's stupid to have to buy... Why do my brakes not work? Jesus fuck, guys. Honestly, I don't know why I even braked. You can just turn like a motherfucker, kind of, sometimes. It's like the bike just doesn't want to go straight. Is this what... I, I admit, I haven't... Oh, Jesus. You really don't even have to go in that checkpoint, do you? Uh, I haven't driven like a, a motorized bike in a long time. I admit this. But like, okay. I don't remember feeling anything like this, though, man. Rest Start last task, not the whole mission. You agree it sucks, just makes sense, both biz, uh, business plan, just see how many exclusives they had made for them. Yeah, I mean, Sony and Microsoft, oh, I'm sorry, Sony and, and, uh, but, fuck, I'm tired. Uh, Sony and Square Enix have always had a pretty good business relationship, um, since Sony came onto the scene. So, like, that does kind of make sense. And then it also, Sony being a Japanese company, it just makes a bit more sense for Sony to buy a Japanese st uh, studio than to buy, like, an American one or, or, like, a Ubisoft or something that's based in France, right? For Ubisoft? I think it's France. Anyways, so, like, yeah, it, it does make pretty decent sense. Um, whether they actually will or not, again, no idea. Only time will tell, I guess. Uh, okay, so you're allowed to scare pedestrians, but apparently actually hitting them is going too far. Um. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, get fucked. Get fucked, bruiser, whatever your name was. Uh, can I just not play this game anymore? I don't want to play this game. This game's bad. Um... But anyway, the one thing that I do like from both companies, Microsoft and... Fuck! <laughs> Microsoft and Sony are that both of them seem to be embracing PC as a middle ground more. And I do appreciate that from both, you know? At least, like, if you just want to play both companies' games and you, you're not some fanboy or whatever, then at least there seems to be, for now, that option. But, like, I wonder how well they're going to keep uh they're going to keep supporting you know pc as an option both both companies microsoft likely will support it more than than sony will because you know they also have windows the the largest pc or i'm sorry the largest uh, computer gaming operating system but sony's been doing better at that at least and hopefully they continue to Microsoft and fuck, that's a new studio, right? No, that's what the kids do these days, man. Like, Netflix and chill is so 2019. Uh, now it's all about Microsoft and fuck. <laughs> they just get right to the point these days, dude. It's like, hey, you want to come over, Microsoft and fuck? You know what I mean? <laughs> that's, that's, what we, that's what we're into now, okay? You got to get hip with the kids if you want to stay relevant, you know? God, why does the turning not work? Why name it after their dicks, though? Micro and soft? Uh, why not? You know what I mean? Look, if I ever make a company, uh, that's what I'm going to call it. Microsoft. Now, I'll call it soft micro, just so you know. It's it's different. You got you to gotta differentiate yourself. I, I'm assuming it had something to do with... Like, soft is probably software, right? Because they started as a, as a software company making... Um, like DOS and, and programs for it and things like that. Be careful while driving. You'll find that nobody wants to ride with you. Don't knock down friendly bikers. You'll be disqualified. I didn't mean to knock him down. I honestly wasn't trying to touch him. 
I'm sorry if I did, but you know what? Fuck off. Whatever. Um, but anyways, and then maybe they were trying to make, like, build more compact computers. I don't think Microsoft built computers, though, right? Like, that's never really built, been their thing. I think maybe they were trying to make, like, maybe they were saying their, their software is very compact, very small. Very, you know, lightweight or something like that. I mean, it's definitely not anymore, but... <laughs> Maybe that's the point they're trying to get across. I, I honestly don't know. I'm just... I'm spitballing here. I don't know the uh, the real history behind the Microsoft name. Oh, God. Fucking go, please. Holy shit. Why was that checkpoint just, like, all the way over there? Yeah, I think it was always more of an Apple thing. The, uh, the actual building of computers. Whereas Microsoft just wanted to sell, you know, IBM compatible PCs on Microsoft's DOS instead of other brands of DOS, essentially. And then, and then the utilities that went along with that, as far as I'm aware, but I am not a PC uh, historian. I uh, do not claim to know all the ins and outs of the that very... Uh, a prestigious <laughs> subject? I don't fucking know. I'm glad we can phase right through light poles. Man, what the fuck? How do you take a turn like that, man? That's not how turns work. Okay. Oh, and that was the fucking end, too? Uh... Wanna try again? Why is this one so much fucking harder than the rest, dude? Holy fuck, what time is it? It's only 12.30. It's only 12 fucking 30. We have another hour? <laughs> like, I don't think I can do it, guys. I legit don't think I can handle playing this game for another hour. This may be the worst PS2 game I've played so far. Because the number one mechanic is racing and it sucks it does say on the back that you can build it customize it show the guys and then ride it but like when do we get to build it and customize it and shit why can't we why can't we do that like why do we have to do all this other stupid shit man 50 sick missions dude instant mode Career mode. Wait. Instant mode? Career mode. What the fuck's the difference? Okay, it says that's complete. Oh, so is that just so we can just replay missions? Okay, I mean, I guess that's fine that that's there, but like, I don't fucking care. <laughs> We got, we got some arts, though. It's named Microsoft because they were developing software for microprocessors. That does make sense, honestly. Wait. What are these? Was this concept art? For the game? I guess so? I mean... It's nice. Somebody's really good with a pencil. But, like, I don't know if that really makes the game worth it. <laughs> oh, there we go. There's there's some pictures of everyone's favorite Paul Jr., Paul Sr. combo. Um, cool, I guess. Riding? Oh, so just pictures of people riding bikes. I don't, I don't really understand bike culture either, I don't think. That's a, that's another thing. Reason probably why I'm, like, not that into this right now. Because, like, okay, the building stuff is cool. Like, them building these bikes, that's pretty fucking sick, man. And, and like, all the customization that they do to it and whatnot. Like, I, I can get behind that. And, like, they're obviously really good at it, but... I mean, look at, like, look at that one, for instance. Like, that's, that's a pretty cool-looking bike. You know? That's, that's the old-school tool bike? What's tool bike? Is that for, for the band, tool? 
Um, but like the rest of it, I just, I don't know, man. No, not bikes. I want to click on characters. Stop eating my input. Oh, so concept art for game characters? Okay. Again, somebody, somebody's good with a pencil. Yeah, that's, that's honestly pretty dope. But I, it's not, I don't... I don't feel the need to just sit down and, and look at them all forever, though. Vibration, transmission, audio, low, new, yeah, no, no subtitle option. Oh, fuck, dude. Um, PS2 collection list. What else do we have? <laughs> Holy shit, please. Somebody save me. What else do we got? We got Call of Duty 3, NBA Live 07. Okay, that's another boring game, but at least we can just get it out of the way, man. <laughs> that's a... I think we're going to do that. I think we're going to take a break here and then we're going to play NBA Live 07 for like an hour or however long a match of that takes because I legit don't think I can do this for another hour without just falling asleep because this is this is not good. Hey, look, there's Activision. <laughs> Activision presents a piece of literal dog shit, <laughs> but you'll buy it because there's these characters on the front. Nobody gives a fuck, Activision. Anyways... <laughs> Uh, Apple's called Apple because they came back from an Apple farm. No one came up with a better name by end of day because Apple came before Atari and Phobook. Fair. Fair. <laughs> Anyways, guys, yeah, we're going to go ahead and take a break, and then we are uh, going to switch over to NBA Live 07, I guess, because I'm fucking done with this game already. Holy shit, dude. BRB. Or a little bit more again. Oh, excuse me. I need to get a drink real quick. My throat... <sighs> 